screener deal. One that doesn't require like its own thing. Cause like I don't want to dedicate too much room to chat. No offense to chat, but I like to keep it mostly. That's right, Parker. Yes. Yes. Yes, hello. You've come to grace my stream. Yes, you have. Yes. Which Pokemon are you, Parker? Is that so? You prefer you more like Skitty? Um, Litten? Yeah. Meowth? Right, he's indecisive. Alolan Garfield? I mean, Persian? Same thing. So, um, I've heard the game kind of described- Parker, please don't kiss the mic. I've heard the game described kind of as like half dating sim, basically, and it's kind of true. Um, the way it works is you have sync pairs, and that's a trainer plus their Pokémon. And, um, your stats and stuff are tied to the sync pair, so in theory, um, characters can have like multiple Pokémon as different units, like all mobile games do. You know, like... There's like 18 billion different versions of Saber or whatever in, uh, Fate Go. There's already two Brocks. Um, both of them are free, oddly. There's a lot of free ga uh, stuff in this game. I think he's a Litten. He's something. Um... <laughs> he's looking at the screen. It's like, what's going on? Um... But yeah, the, the, you get a bunch of... I think you get 18 free units. I have a guide on my site. If you want to know how to play the game, strongly recommend checking that out. I, um... Pretty much, that's maybe not a great place for the chat. I don't know. I don't know where the hell to put chat. You can be... I just wish there was a good way to put a little text stroke on there. Whatever. Um, you get 18 free units, and um, most of the, some of them are pretty dang good, actually. Um, Rosa here is your free 5-star, and she's actually the best support unit in the whole game, currently. And, um... Not that there's actually a lot of those. Um, Drake here is actually not too bad, though. Um, Howe is free. Fan favorite from Sun Moon. And he's ridiculous... He, he does ridiculous DPS. Parker, please. P Parker! I'm trying to do stuff, honey. He's like, no, human. You're trying to be pet... You're trying to pet me, yes. Just sit down, please! He's... Making this very complicated. Parker, just sit. Just, just sit. I don't know what, what his obsession is with the microphone. He knows that I. It frustrates me when I tr when he tries to mess up the mic. Okay, let me see if. Um, what's a good menu to show you all my duders? Um, oh yeah, there's a Pokédex. Well, it's not a Pokédex. It's just a Dex. It's not as good. Yeah, these are all the units in the game currently. Two Brocks. I'm seeing double here! Four Brocks! So there's a bunch of people I don't have. I surprisingly got four out of the five, um, five stars currently in the pool. Just pure luck. So it is Gashapon, because of course it would be. But, um, it seems like a fair amount of work put it when into the game. Um, the dialogue is actually pretty good, um... It's pretty endearing to the trainers. You get to talk to a lot of trainers that you don't usually, like, ever hear anything from. Like, the Elite Four people, you... They have, like, two lines of dialogue. They're like, hello, I am... I am Jim Bob, leader of the fighting people. We must fight. And then you beat them, and they're like, you are good. Go fight the next dude. And that's all they... <laughs> that's all they do. But now you yes. get to talk to people. Like Olivia here. <laughs> And her Lycan Rock that definitely should be Dark Type and is very stupid that is not Dark Type. <laughs> it's not fully voice acted, but there is some voicing. Which. Most of the lines, you'll see some in combat and stuff. Here's Brendan. Who, <laughs> Brendan's first time talking ever. He's just kind of. I don't, I don't believe, at least. I don't think any of the protagonists have ever. <laughs> officially uttered a line. So Brendan here has a personality. Also, th that uh, just to ruin your life, if you're not aware, that's a hat. It's much more obvious in 3D, but we all thought as a kid that he had like gray or white hair with a headband, but no, it's a hat. And I... My life has been on the wrong track ever since I learned that information. I just feel there's no going back after that. 
You get to talk to some of the generic characters too. I kind of hope they let you get the generics. I like that there's a lot of really cool trainer classes that I hope they let you actually get. Oh, here's Chris. Look at the sharp angle on those ponytails? Question mark? I don't know what you call that. I think they need their own name. There's jiggle physics on them too. Best use of jiggle physics. <laughs> Personnel is kind of like, uh, like, a very scholarly character. Yeah. She, her hair game is on point. That's Karina. Karina is free, which I was very happy to see that, and she's pretty good. She's probably my best fighting type still, actually. In fact, in co-op, you see nothing but Karina. Let me show you. Um, Welcome. Just for the purpose of showing off a of battle, real quick here. Um. Go fight Brock. So, as a Gashapon game, there's a bunch of materials and crap you need to get, right? Um, one of the rarest materials you need to get um, is gym leader notes. And to get the easiest way to get that is to fight Brock here. So, everyone fights Brock, and everyone uses Karina. Uh, assuming there's enough people playing right now, you'll probably see me matched up with two Karinas. Oh, I guess I'm not lucky. Oh well. Um, they inverted twin tails? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Well, one of the NPCs is Karina. Um, the VPN requirement was turned off, at least for now. I'm gonna shrink up the chat box here a little bit. All right, come on. Oh, that's an easy, that's an easy thing to read. Man, they used to be a really good, um... Oh, let's turn off water battle just for a second. So the co-op, I actually really like the combat a lot. It's a, it's all three by three. Um, you can either do co-op or there's single player. The co-op is mostly for grinding for materials for now. I'm really hoping there'll be like raid events and stuff. Parker, I'm, I can't read chat with you. But yeah, the VPN requirement, I, I think they're showing off the game at an event. So I think that is why the VPN requirement went out. The VPN requirement disappeared a while ago and then it came back within a day or so. I really should have streamed then, but I didn't think- I thought it was going to be permanent. But I'm expecting the VPN will probably go back up. Let's do our best. It is scheduled to launch roughly at the end of the month, so it may just release. Actually, I've never heard that line before. I don't usually play with the sound on. That was Flannery. She's Flannery is adorable. She's in the main story, um, and she's free, and she's great. She's kind of only okay as like a, you know, combat character. I guess I should actually use attacks and things. Um, but she's adorable. So we expect a wipe. Oh God, no, no. This is the this is the real game. This is the full game. Um, it's always like this. They always do a location test where it's out a month early in certain locations so they can test if people are buying stuff, if people have issues, um, that kind of stuff, and then it launches. Um, I've done this, this is like the third time I've done this, so... And they've, they've confirmed, like, specifically that yes, people will keep their stuff. And this is usually where you get to see three Karinas blast Brock to death, but you only get two Karinas now. And a Bruno. But yeah, you'll get to keep all your stuff if you play now. They wouldn't let you pay if, it, if they were going to wipe it. The only time I've heard of them doing that is... Um, the, the Disgaea game actually completely got destroyed. Z-moves, they're not exactly Z-moves. There's the Sync move, which is close enough. Um, you got to use enough attacks, and this is a Sync move. Watch his shirt magically disappear. <laughs> Amazing. There's a lot of cute references to um, stuff in the games. Um, I think Barry or er, <laughs> sync moves are pretty strong, especially the AI kind of has hack bonds. Basically, the AI's stats are way better than yours will be. So it's it's a bit more like a Gacha game in some regards than it is like a Pokemon game. There are Megas in this, by the way. <laughs> so this game has Megas, even though um, Sword and Shield doesn't, which is silly. I really don't. I really feel like it's not going to be a permanent thing. The Dexit thing. 
I feel like they screwed something up really bad and they just needed an excuse. And they'll be like, oh hey, we listened to your feedback and we put back the Pokemon, like next generation or something. And they, that's just what they planned all along, they just wanted it to be this whole dramatic thing. Yeah, you power up your sync move by using X number of moves. Unfortunately, my allies are dumb AIs, so not very good. I probably could have soloed this faster than I'm doing this with co-op. You can't solo co-op levels. I mean, you can play it with NPCs, but you're not allowed to just take your own, your own team. Just barf some rocks on him. I guess I should be using rocks on instead. Tyranitar, unsurprisingly, is actually pretty good. Um, rock Slide. Actually, any AoE attack is OP in this game. Um, any attack that is area of effect in any regards in regular Pokémon hits all of the enemy units and none of your end units in this game. So Surf does not hit your friends, but hits all of the enemies, no matter where you're placed. So AoE stuff is really overpowered. And it crashed. <laughs> That's... It, it does crash. So... That's not unexpected. That's a bit early. It usually takes a little while to crash. I get maybe a crash a day. But that's... That's mobile games in general. I do hope they fix that. <laughs> um, I used to think maybe it was related to the VPN dropping out, but there's no... I'm not using a VPN, so I guess it's not. But this is the, like, version 1.0, absolutely no patches or anything version, so... Um, there is a really nasty bug. By the way, if you play this game, um, once you beat a co-op boss, Blue has a tutorial for you. Ignore his tutorial. Um, his tutorial bugs out the game, and so every time you clear a stage, like let me clear a level up grind here just real quick. Um, every time you clear a stage, it boots you back to the Pokemon Center, which adds like 15 to 20 seconds to every grind. Um, and a whole bunch of taps, and it's really annoying. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but for mobile game grinding, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. They have acknowledged it, and it will be fixed, but... Yeah. Or if you get, do they have shinies? No, there's no catching Pokemon at all. It's possible that a stink pair will have a shiny, but I don't really see the point in that, because then it's just always going to be a shiny, so... You know, the only Pokemon game I'm really, I'm actually kind of annoyed did not have Shinies. I'm not a big fan of Shinies. I don't like to grind for them or anything. Um, Pokemon Rumble Rush? There's nothing to do in that game. <laughs> if there was Shinies at least, there would at least be something to do. Karen is kind of like Scary Dom, by the way. <laughs> I guess she should be. She's the Dark type. Um, Elite Four member. I guess I should turn on battle. I have I have my game set to maximum grinding mode. I can probably turn that down a bit. That's my friend thinger if you want it. I There's not much reason to add people for friends um, because it's, there's just basic co-op stuff now. Um, this game has some pretty nice auto battle stuff though. There's auto battle. Um, there's an auto switch thing that where if your device is idle, it switches on auto. I've never actually seen that activate. It's a really cool quality of life feature in theory, but like I said, you must have to wait a really long time for it to activate. Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn this off. And you can also, you can speed up the battles pretty dang fast. I'm, I'm really like that. Just for mobile games and for grindy games and just in general. I like being able to skip stuff if I gotta do it a lot. Oh, there's these little sync pair stores. I actually haven't seen a bunch of these. Um, so you can, like, you know, go check out Blaine, who is literally just skinny Dr. Robotnik. Wait, wait till you hear his voice. Hey, Farmer. Hmm. There we go. That's a bit better with where the buttons are. It's not really a good place for chat. The, the area designs are actually pretty nice. You don't really get to walk around in them or anything, which is kind of a shame. There's a little mini game kind of thing where you get to like poke around a little bit. That kind of makes me wish they had... What? What's wrong, Dr. Robotnik? Yes. 
Who does that sound like? Hmm. If that's not Dr. Robotnik's current voice actor, they do a good impression. Right! Are you ready? This has gotta be him. Master Roshi? <laughs> kind of. I never know I never knew he had like a Pokeball design on his tie. He kinda does look now, now that you've said it, he especially with his mouth open, he looks a lot like Master Roshi. <laughs> Also, the punk girls in this game are really cute. I predicted on Twitter that there will be very, very much fan art of them as soon as the game releases. It probably already is, I just haven't looked. He's, <laughs> he's having a brain moment over here. Blast it. Blast that hedgehog. Head. That's that's beautiful. So I just had to get a screenshot of that. <laughs> this don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> this might not be a good idea. Am, am I the ponyta? Am I giving him these? What's <laughs> up, ponyta? Eyebrows. Are you ready? This, this man has some of the most powerful eyebrows I've seen outside of Fully Cooley. How good was the new Fully Cooley thing, by the way? I still haven't seen that. It's out. Is it on like a DVD or anything that I can like purchase? Also, the game is pretty miserly with gems. That's the one major complaint I have. That and the lack of resistances. Um, there's no resistances or immunities in this game, so you can use Earthquake on like Zapdos. <laughs> And it hurts, and it's kind of silly. Let's talk to Punk Girl. Look at look at those teeth. You don't get as good a look at the teeth at this angle, but she's got shark teeth. Yeah. But yeah, every Pokemon only has one weakness. It's kind of like the card games, but there's no resistance Super at all. Duper punk. <laughs> what? Why? Why was that voice clip necessary at that time? Whatever. Don't you think Punk Girls are like? Super cool. They, Come on, you should go punk too. <laughs> they talk like Pokemon. They're only able to like talk about being a punk girl. They, <laughs> but because you're also you're they're human mons, and because you're also a human mon, you understand the ridiculous things they say, and it's translated. It's like she looks like a Japanese demon. Like she's more goth, goth like Japanese goth. <laughs> But uh, punk means pink hair and pointy teeth. And she's half, she's kind of almost halfway to goth, but. Oh, Rosa is amazing in this, by the way. I love that thinking face. We have that in our Discord, by the way. There was, um. <laughs> there was a good, um. Chibi version of that face that she makes. It's a very good thonking emoji. She also talks about eating her hair rolls because they look like meat buns. <laughs> she makes the best faces. Also, in true RPG fashion, everyone has a different thing when you talk to them the second time. Not sure why that happened to be such a thing. It's just specifically first time you talk to somebody, they have a different thing to say. But then it's always the second thing. Oh, hey, Kelly is uh, in this too. So there's no events on yet. They'll, they'll, it'll probably launch with an event, is my guess. But there's currently no event stages, no event exchange stuff. Um, the story is pretty generic Pokemon story. It will not excite people that think that, that thought this was going to have an amazing, super in-depth story. I don't know who said people would be, and I think those people are lying to themselves. <laughs> but this story's cute, it has some neat interactions with the characters, that's kind of all you can hope for in a Pokemon game. 
You meet Brock and Misty. All right. Also, Brock is like 16 or something, apparently. <laughs> he looks, he always looked way older than that to me. Especially this particular Brock. There's Pikachu. You get a Pikachu. That's your default Pokemon because, of course, it is. Also, not all Pokemon can evolve. Like, it's only specific teams can evolve. I say not. Here's Cynthia. You can't get Cynthia yet. Spoilers. Rosa's a friggin' short stack. Look at that. Oh, actually, no. Cynthia is just fucking huge. Okay. Come on, I don't have all day. <laughs> Look at that happy little Litwick. He doesn't care that he's doing crimes. Cynthia is as tall as Onyx confirmed. Wait, wait, Drifloons have a mouth? Wait, what? Can, can you replay that footage? I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, there's a whole story, there's a team, there's, there's Team Break, the new team Welcome. villains. Um, let me sh let me see if I can find you a story with King Jerkface. Um, there's this guy. There's this guy that's totally not the new villain. Definitely not. Um, crap. Where do we meet him? I don't remember where we meet, stupid glasses man. Let me see if it's one of these. Um, I forget his name. Oh man. Um, Pokemon Masters. Um, frick. Does anybody remember what his freaking name is? I just want to get a picture of him. Hey. Here's Flannery. Yeah. Okay. Flannery is very excitable. Your dad. Sure thing. Brendan is the only person in the world with a dad. Actually, this game reveals that a lot of Pokemon gym leaders and stuff are dads. Wolfric is a dad. Which, I mean, if you just look at Wolfric, he's extremely dad material. Yeah, I don't remember what the hell. I don't remember where you find him. Here's Drake. Drake has some really good lines. Ahoy! Aw, oh, this isn't the one. <laughs> There's one where he's trying to make happy faces for children and he looks like a serial killer. It's really good. <laughs> Why does the solid menace have to fly? You're inside the Pokemon Center, dude. They're 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 pretty obviously just the 3DS models and animations. Hey maybe. Um some big old band-aid. So, Welcome. let me see if I can beat- I have some really good units now, so I really should be able to beat some of the co-op stuff that I haven't yet. I already beat that one. How has Alolan, Alolan write you, by the way? It's really good. Uh, quick connect. There's probably not going to be anyone playing this one. <laughs> There's not really any reason to play anything but, um, but the first level of Brock. There's also going to be gear in this game, apparently. There's a tutorial for it, but it doesn't exist in the game yet, so I can't show it to you. This doesn't exist, but it will exist. I'll be coming along with you. So Houndoom is pretty crazy OP, even more than, uh, than How. It's got Snarl, and um, very rare for this game. It's actually a Switch attacker. The, the moves are preset in this game. And um, you can't change moves. You do learn new moves, but everyone just has four moves. Two support moves and two attack moves, generally. Yeah, I figure. Uh -huh. And usually, if a Pokémon is physical, you know, it'll have two physical attacks. If it's special, it'll have two special. Um, Houndoom has Bite and Snarl. And for some reason, when it Mega Evolves, it actually changes its moves. Which this is, doesn't usually actually happen, but I'll allow it. Also, some of the trainer moves are new, like look at this. This is crazy OP. Um, at full HP, it gives you three. Um, SP attack up three. Or no, that was four. 
Maybe it was already buffed. Um, but yeah, in low HP it buffs it even more. But you can pretty much snarl everyone to death. I'm sorry if I overpress things. It doesn't usually make a sound, and I'm very impatient. So look at that. Yeah, and once it mega evolves, you get um, dark pulse instead of uh, bite. You can't speed up co-op battles though, because it's gotta be in sync with everyone else. They're they're pretty slow, and I don't usually do them. I'm I'm wondering if it would be like a situation like uh, Star Ocean Animesis, where there's lots of like big bosses and you gotta fight them a lot. I'm sure some people will be a little disappointed with the voice acting, quote unquote. Okay. Or, there, there aren't really. I, I never really had super high hopes for uh, voice acting in a Pokemon game, honestly. Nintendo stuff in general never really seems to. I mean, other than Mario, obviously Mario has the best voice acting. Yahoo! That's that's all you need. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. Also, the AI is very generous and always attacks your bulkiest Pokemon first. I won't resist this even though I'm a fire type, so it's oh wow. Oh wow, he's pathetic! Never mind. No concern at all. You can do it. Your stuff. There we go. Right on. Aw, come on! <laughs> That's a wasted sync move. Swana is extremely fast and great as a great support character. Um, does paper tissue damage. I guess I should have swapped out so Rosa could take a hit. Oh. Well, that's not too good. Oh, Swana um, and Skyla also have potions, which are extremely good. Potions are just a 50% heal in this game. So, very, very good. Just hit him! If anybody other than me hits it with a sync move, it'll be toast. Alright, I should be using Take Flight. There's a lot of really good buffs in this game that regular Pokemon doesn't have, because regular Pokemon not really set up for multi- er, you know. It has 3v3, but there's not a lot of buffs that tend to affect- oh crap. I thought that was... Oh. We're in bad shape if they have another boss mod. This game is very boss oriented, which is kind of weird for Pokemon, but the enemy's middle character will generally always be a boss, and they're way beyond the stats of any Pokemon that you're allowed to get. So this could be pretty bad. Never give up, trust her instincts. So I just kinda gotta hope that my AI buddies aren't as pathetic as they always are. Which is unlikely. Me. Guard. Chantal, I don't believe I ever fought. <laughs> I love the little page. Ouch. Um I don't think I ever fought Chantal. Is she I think she's only from black and white one. I only got black and white too. Well, I only got black too, actually. Please give me a sync, sync move. Animations are a little bit slow for the co-op stuff. Please. 
Oh man. <laughs> We're probably toast. to do oh yeah and co-op you can do chain attacks to build up that unity gauge to do this oh we might win actually this is fine wait skyler does more damage than rosa that's surprising the superior is super bulky in this but i pretty much never use its attack oh i was hoping that would be a little stronger you know what to do Wait, is it burns? We burned, guys, we burned a candelabra. A ghost candelabra. The usual typing immunities don't apply for some reason. The game is a lot simpler. They, they, there's clearly a concerted effort to simplify things. Which I think makes sense for a game like this. Hey, not bad. That was a little rough, but we won. Who was that dude on the left? Puts a smile on my face. I don't even remember you. I don't think they're in the Gasha right now either. Not everyone is in the Gasha. I'm really glad that didn't crash, by the way, because that took forever. I only need to beat it once, though. I don't really need to grind on those. There's not really anything too great to grind on in co-op, except for... All you really want is the, um... Who's he wants it's... The, um... Item. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> the, the gym leader's notes. But I don't usually stream on Mondays for a reason. I had a splitting headache through most of today. How has everyone's Monday? How have you all been? That's right, Parker. I'm totally on board for this. I went and got some uh, hibachi shrimp from the um, Japanese place near work. It was 14 bucks, not not exactly cheap, but um, you get more. It was it was about a meal and a half, so I could have done with a smaller portion for 10 bucks. So it really wasn't too bad. You can't really go to that place and spend less than 15 bucks or so. Uh -huh. They're pretty good sushi, though. Need to get there. Their tempura is really good. I was thinking of just getting some crab rangoon and fried shrimp and just make that a meal. Do you honestly think you but can I wanted to try me? their um, hibachi stuff and veggies. Last time I just had a... I forget what it was called. It's a fire dragon roll. It has a bunch of different crap in it. Very chance. big... Very thick roll. It's my turn now. And it crashed. <laughs> uh, thanks. Hold on a second. Oh, BRB. The BRB doesn't really work in that. Come back. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> I swear it doesn't usually crash quite this much. Like I said, usually I'll get a crash every day or so. Um, maybe co-op makes it crash. I don't know. I don't usually play co-op. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, co-op. There's a lot more network traffic going on co-op. Though it's fake network traffic in this case. I was I was just playing with NPCs. What's up, Plannery? Hey. <laughs> oh, and there's new Nurse Joy substitutes. Welcome. I bet they're gonna be playable at some point. I want them to be, kind of. Oh yeah, and you can force level up with level up items. 
No more rare candies. As you can see, I have quite a few of them. Wait! My heart feels like it's gonna overheat! There's not really too much grind except for the, um... Once you get to a certain point in the game, the only thing that's a real kind of sloggy grind is unlocking the very last level cap. So there's, what, four level caps, I think, that you have to break? Only the last two cost a kind of substantial amount of items. The second to last one here, you can see, isn't that crazy expensive. But, uh... The last one. Let's see if Misty... Yeah, Misty's on the last one. It costs the gym leader's notes, which you gotta kind of do co-op or super training courses for. And it requires, like, 100 to... up to, like, 300 of the golden items. And, like, four to 500 Thank you so much. of the silvers. Welcome. And the best way to grind in the game, by the way, is not really to do co-op or the story levels. You kind of want to do just, just story levels once. The, the best way is the training area, actually. Um, these drop a lot of items, and there's the... There's kind of the dailies. Every, guy, every mobile game has to have daily crap that you do. So the dailies, there's like two active at once, and you can get lots of extra drops. See you, Ender. Let us begin. Now, Flannery's just a spicy boy. She's fine. Okay, no. Let's go. By the way, a character confirms in this that Zatu sees the future, which is part of its Pokédex entry. Well, it's theorized that it sees the future, but... It's actually, I couldn't do it justice, but it's like, kind of haunting, like it's, um... Is it just made of that Beedrill look really small? I guess Zatu is just big. Yeah, they had something pretty creepy to say about the Zatu, about how it's like, paralyzed because of what it sees in the future. Which is another reference to that. If the Pokémon has a Mega, by the way, the Sync move, the first time you use the Sync move, will turn it into the Mega. Now's my chance. So you don't, Keep it up. you don't instantly start in Mega form. Keep it up. And only certain Pokémon have their Megas. Uh, Houndoom has it. I don't Do think I have anyone. Oh no, Karina! Obviously, Karina has uh, Mega Lucario. Those are the only two I'm aware of. There's probably more than that. But... I still think it's funny that this game has Megas. Stupid Sword Shield doesn't. I'm probably gonna get Sword Shield on release, and I'll probably do some streams of it, but... I'm just so excited to finally be able to stream a Pokémon thing. Because I could never stream portable stuff, but, um... <laughs> they keep... I'm not super enthralled with Sword Shield. I like the female trainer. Um, de design a lot. Fucking Scottish one! That's the best headcanon possible for her. Um, not really super excited about too many of the new Pokemon yet, honestly. I was hoping you could entertain me a I really, I, I strongly dislike the Pika clone. I don't think I've ever disliked a, a Pokemon as much as I dislike the new Pika clone. Um, I'm just not digging the design so far. The starters are okay. I'm not really super into them either. Okay, Iris. Iris is free. <laughs> so you get frickin' Paxaras for free. How does her hair work, by the way? There's actually- <laughs> there's a thing where she her, her Pokémon store berries in her hair. And they're like, perfectly refrigerated. It's kind of scary. I like this totally not creepy Samaritan over here. Of course. Yes, of course. Science. He's doing science. This is how you do a science. This is one science being done. <laughs> Impressive. Creepy. <laughs> yeah, there's the cla there's a lot of the classic trainers. Um, there's a few new designs for some of the generic trainers actually. Punk Girl is new. Uh, the youngster is a new design. Um, the Pokemon Ranger is a new or like at least a modified design. What even are you? I don't remember seeing a collector like this, but I could be wrong. Yeah, the scientists were always creepy dudes. I can't tell if I've seen this guy before or not. I wouldn't confidently be able to say either way. 
I know we've seen this swimmer before. <laughs> you feel that wind? We're inside. Incredible. Incredible. Just stay groovy. <laughs> Supportive swimmer drives you home from the airport ASMR. Everyone's worrying about their parents' expectations. I'm kind of upset yeah. we got we got the old style ace trainer, not the Let's new do this. um Gen 6, I think it is. <laughs> ace trainer, the the blue one. I like a lot. I keep getting old men in the Gashapon, by the way. I got this old guy. I didn't even remember him, honestly. <laughs> a lot of the gym leaders aren't all that memorable. Right. Good old man with his shears. Welcome. So let's see if we can beat this last one. Or if we just crash again. Remember when they were cool trainers? Yeah, they kind of went back and forth between cool trainers. Right, most of Gen 6? Really? Huh. That's pretty recent for me to forget, but... I remember, is he the one that's like a big open grassy thing and you go around and... I'm not describing this well, but... Uh, that's a Kirby... That, that looks like a Kirby item. That star. I think Kirby's about to like use that to defeat some kind of new evil. Yeah, no. no one plays the hard co-op ones yet. There's not really any incentive to. I'm hoping there'll be like lots of people playing event raids or something. Cause there's just currently not a lot of reason to do the co-op. You honestly think you can beat me? Oh, Claire is free by the way too. I have a list of who's free on my oops not auto. Leave it to me. On my guide. Just go to tapap.com. I hope lots of people will use it once the game comes out. Or you can use emojis. Well, not emojis, but like stickers. Like, please heal me. Oh, by the way, the AI will actually react. Um, if they have an ability that they can use to either heal you or buff you, they actually will do that. So that's actually pretty cool. I like Gen 6, but I don't like a lot of the trainers, honestly. It had those fairy trail tail trainers, and like, uh... It did have the Hexmaniac, though, I think. The good one. No one remembers the other Hexmaniac. Oh, I forgot to buff myself, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Total waste of turns. Though it does lower the special attack, which is nice. Lorelai is in the game, but not free, unfortunately. I haven't pulled her yet. Claire is very intense in this game. Hopefully we'll see her, um... And you have stickers per, um, character, actually. It's kind of neat. No! No, let me live my life! I just want to- I just want to go mega! Oh, what am I doing? I just... I should switch out. Oh no. Off! Oh, I did switch out in time. How I'm doing this post. Oh, not quite. Everyone else is, though. And sometimes people's weaknesses are not what you think. I think Garchomp's weakness is not ice for some reason. Even though it has a four times weakness to ice. <laughs> Makes no sense. There we go. What a tough opponent. Now. You always want to finish your buffs before you use your sync move and stuff. You do so much more damage. We're all set. I've got this. There. I believe every two steps is a hundred percent more damage. Of like, you know, when it sharply raises your damage, that's double, or is that 50? Oh, bit rate? No, oh, never mind. I kind of hate that OBS has this display of the bit rate having issues, because it usually isn't. 
These weaknesses run on the logic of the TGC. Kind of? It's not exactly the TGC, because there's no weaknesses, there's no resistance or immunities. Every Pokemon only has one weakness, though, and it's per Pokemon. Or per sync pair, really. So in that way, yeah, it's basically like the C TGC. I do hope they add resistances, though, because resistances in Pokemon are really important. Um, it really is what makes the game so diverse, because without, without resistances, you could just be like, oh, I'm just gonna bring a Mewtwo. I mean, you can't just bring a Mewtwo, really, but even more so, you could just bring a Pokemon, and nothing, without resistances, there's not a lot you could hard counter, because, like, you could just use Earthquake on everything, because Earthquake's a really strong move that hits all opponents. Um, 100% accurate, but you can just switch in a flying type, and then boom, doesn't work. And that's a really important aspect, and that <laughs> this game just doesn't really have that. You can switch in a bulky mon in co-op anyway, but ow. How is happy even when he loses? He's j he's just happy that he got to eat some malasada. I have special attack raising for my physical attacking friends here. Rosa is really OP. She has X special attack on all. Um, and she has. She basically fully refills your move meter with time to energize. You only use it twice, but it's really good. Her attacks are not good, but. Support Pokemon aren't really meant to deal damage. Giga, they nerfed Giga Drain something fierce in this, though. I think they really didn't want zombie teams that just last forever. <laughs> Claire is an eternal state of angry. Which I imagine most dragon type trainers are. Please don't. Okay. Oh, friends are toast. As long as I can do one more sync move. See, look at that. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, after the enemy gets- the enemy's- The enemy's sync move removes your buffs. Your sync moves do not remove their buffs. So after the enemy has gotten like a couple of sync moves off, they have almost unbeatable amounts of buffs on them. So the game is very much geared towards defeating enemies quickly. Which again is probably why Giga Drain doesn't do very well. I don't think they want you to be able to do, you know, to last forever. There we go! This is pretty close. I still had Houndoom and like zero HP in reserve. It's a cute touch that every character has like their own little expression for the communication stickers. I really like the stickers communication thing. Um, Star Ocean Anamnesis, which is shutting down at the end of the year, by the way. That sucks ass. Um, good game. I just got tired of it. Um, but um, the stickers communication, you, you really couldn't troll much at all. Um, it was a really effective way to coordinate. It worked really well for what it was. You there. This is a really good suggestive line here. Maybe it wasn't this one. Hey. Oh. <laughs> he has a line where he talks about his wife, him being hard as ice, but his wife makes him melt. And it's like, wait a minute, dude. Welcome. I don't know if you should be telling random kids this. Right, I think we have beaten all of the hard co-op things. There's a super hard thing of every co-op, which that's going to require human players, because that's going to be even harder than what I just fought. So I don't think it's possible without help, but you have to beat this gear mission. What even is that item? I've never seen that item before. Huh. Yeah, there's there's gonna be stuff in the game that doesn't happen until the actual launch. This is the real game, but like, there's like, events and stuff that are gonna happen. And blue. I think blue is in one of the first banners they're gonna add. Somebody data mined it. And on my YouTube, I'll probably get little recordings of all of the story, in case anyone cares. A long play, I suppose. 
just so it's up there. And mostly because eventually the game is going to come down like all mobile things do. And I want the story, you know, preserved and stuff. But I do like the writing in this. It's not a super gripping story. I mean, you're on the island to do a Pokemon championship. You're basically Ash. Um, there's an evil enemy team that's trying to steal things. You stop them from steal things. But, uh, it's more about the, the little interactions with all the new trainers and stuff. Every new chapter has a new trainer that you get at the end of it. The thing, about, the thing about mobile stuff, like, I've never been a fan of MMOs and stuff because they can just shut down the server, but at least MMOs on PC and stuff, people would usually make a, um, public server and stuff. No one ever seems to make public servers for, um, mobile stuff. I don't know if it's harder, they just have better ways of preventing it, or why that's the case, but I've never heard of that being a thing for, like, shut down Gashapon games. Hey, Jax. Yeah, the... Uh, Star Ocean Anamnesis, for example, they're shutting down the English version, and they're not even gonna merge our accounts into the Japanese server, which sucks. I had a lot of really good units. I had Christmas Eve, I had Christmas Presses, I had uh, all the summer units. And now they're gonna shut it down in a couple of months. I think it shuts down at the end of November or something. I might stream it sometime just as like a, you know, poke around kind of thing. I went I went and took some screenshots of my duders for nostalgia, but sucks. Oh yeah, here's the line. <laughs> the, the pain in that face. No way. Well, she's just casually telling me that her Pokemon is like permanently traumatized because of the horrific future. It's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm like most likely a 10 year old because pretty much all of them are. Even though, even though none of the Pokemon protagonists really look 10, but that's the canon age that they usually set out at. The Gen 5 ones aren't though, and the Gen, Gen 5 and uh, 6 are like older. Which is weird because they don't. I mean, maybe a little, but they don't look drastically different to me than, say, the, um, Sun Moon ones. What's up, Blaine? You getting yes. kicked in the head by your ponyta again? <laughs> Wait a minute. You can take off your sunglasses? Do your best! Do, does he ha does Blaine have eyes? I don't know if I can handle this information. I got Wickstrom. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him very much. He's dumb. Hello. Hello. <sighs> Hang in there. Thanks, buddy. All right, here's the new Pokemon Ranger, by the way. <laughs> I like the design. You have great eyesight. She's the original Bubs. I can see you from here. Some great eyesight original Pokemon Ranger. Huh. How good was the Pokemon Ranger game, by the way? I never played that. There's how. Say the line, how. Hey! Say the line. <laughs> he doesn't actually talk as much about Malasada in this game. Hey! I swear I swear that he never went a full conversation without mentioning Malasada in Welcome. Sun Moon. He only says that once. The Ranger series is dead. First game was a bit rough. The rest were pretty good. I just never got them. I was more of the um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon usually. But yeah, this grinding is a bit annoying. I usually don't. I don't really bother with grinding because of that happened. I just go... Uh, I just get my three... You get three runs on each of the super courses, which give by far more drops than the regular stuff, so I just dip that in every day. That's really all there is for daily stuff currently. There's no stamina system. Um, there's not a lot of daily rewards other than beating the super courses. You can do it. 
my turn now. You've got this. I'm hoping the events and new like story and characters will be obviously the main draw. So I'm interested to see how that is handled. I'm really mostly interested in the, like the writing and like the you know, personality of characters. It's especially see neat to see them add some characterization to the the protagonists because they really don't do anything. <laughs> they really don't do anything. They're Gordon Freemans. Oh, and if you look, you can see um, on Karina, you can see her Mega Stone. Cute little touch. I don't know if Karen shows hers. I haven't seen it. Yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I, I, I like the... I like progressing the story and the silly little things like the, um, I like the Dialaga one. Dialga? However you say that. Uh, the second series. It was kind of neat and dramatic for a Pokemon game. Um, and some nice big sprite art. And it felt like something might actually happen for once, but, um, that game gets really hard. And yeah, it kind of throws you into dungeons that are ridiculously hard sometimes. Also, the AI is kind of weird. Sometimes it does amazing things, like just it doesn't attack for a while. Oh, yeah, we're toast. I can usually beat these things with the AI. Now that I have a uh, level 100 Karen. Nope. Wait, how did he get burned? I don't even have anything that burns. Did he burn himself? I mean, he, he is a candelabra, but... Oh. That's Erica. Her vile plume is not very good. By the way, I don't think vile plumes are supposed to be quite that big. I think they're like three feet. That thing... That thing is terrifying, honestly. <laughs> Speaking of terrifying, hello. I don't see Obama Snow feels a little small. I have like all of the ice trainers so far. How does her hair do that? Flame body? Oh, maybe. Here I go. Pokemon <laughs> passives are different in this too. Um. Oh, there's a swimmer with her Marini. An art piece. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. But what if you touch it? Excuse me. What to do? I love that there's this, this lethal poisoning hazard right in the middle of the hallway, and she's playing hopscotch like right next to it. That's very safe behavior. Good job. What was I gonna? I was gonna do a thing. I don't remember what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, there's a little exchange shop over here. Welcome. Um, you get coins, and the only real purpose of coins. Come on, there you go. Sell some pearls, I guess. And fittingly, pearls are useless except for selling. The only real things to buy are there's some tickets that let you retry a level that you've expired chances for. Um, which I assume is going to be good for guy or er, um, events and um, these evolution stones. Even though I don't think there's enough Pokemon in there that you need to buy all of them yet, eventually there will be. And here's the Sync Pair Scout thing. I'm saving my gems, so sorry, I won't. I won't be summoning, but I'll show you how it works. Uh, it's a pretty simple Gashapon. 7% rate for 5 stars, 20% for 2 star, or er, 4 star, and 73% for everyone else. And everyone has an even rate, apparently. And, um. 
clay and pop the code. I think I've got like half Malson, is that guy's name? Or Mar Mar Marlon? Huh. I think there's Bugsy. I think I've gotten about half of the people you can get. I have all the five stars except for Phoebe, actually, which really surprised me. I got really lucky one week. Um. In terms of buying stuff, I'll show you the gem cost. Basically, it's one gem per dollar, except if you buy... It's like a dollar per 11 gems. I have an efficiency table on my guide. But the 1,500 gems and the 9,800 9, are the most efficient ones. I would really recommend if you're going to buy stuff. Um, number A, wait until the launch because there's going to be a thing where you get... Um, there's a special one-time only package that's cheaper. Um, otherwise, I would recommend the 1,500 one. It's the best balance. It's the best cost ratio until the... $80 purchase and the $80 that's <laughs> that's really steep and it's not really a great increase in efficiency so I would Welcome. definitely either go for like a $1 purchase just to try it out or the 15 or the 13 it's $13 for 1500 thank you very much wait let me show you how passives work so you learn moves and stuff Everyone starts out with two moves, and the first move is really cheap. The second move was a bit more expensive. But, um... At the part I'm at in the game, everything does not matter. This is a mobile game, Brian, of course. It's the screen ratio. Um... But yeah, move passives are different. Um, there's no abilities, there's passives, and you have to learn the passive, and... Passives are not necessarily what the character originally had. Um, so like this one, reduce damage when the Pokemon is hit in a pinch and hit by a physical attack. That seems really, that seems like a needlessly specific passive, but then there's a lot of regular abilities that are needlessly specific. Um, passives generally aren't very good, frankly. Um, Trico here has some of the best ones. Speed can't be lowered, can't be paralyzed, so that's pretty good. Um, still fairly specific, but no more specific than a regular Pokemon ability would be. Um, passives. Generally, you pick a Pokemon for stats and moves. See, Piercing Gaze is alright. Moves never miss. Moves really make or break the character, though, because you can't change your moves. And stats, obviously, are always important. Yeah, here's your, uh, your starting character has Pikachu, and it, it is not allowed to evolve. Oh, a nice thing, though, is free characters start with level 5, um, or, like, maxed out. And, wait, is it not maxed out? Hold on. Woo! When you pull a duplicate, you upgrade your sync ability thing. That's right, Parker. Huh. And I thought the free character started maxed out. Oh, that's what that does. Oh, hey, that's neat. I didn't know that. If you favorite a character, you see them more often in the Pokemon Center. That's cool. So if you have a big team like I do, you can pick people that you want to talk to. That's really cool. That's right, Parker. Yes! I like Lieutenant Surge. I'm glad I pulled him. For some reason, he only really has the sunglasses in the pictures. He doesn't usually wear them. Hello. Yes, hello, yes. Yes, indeed. That's right. Is your voice sore? You're talking low. Yeah. Unfortunately, Surge doesn't seem that amazing. He is a three-star. I mostly use Skyla, Rosa, um, How, Karen. I'm trying to get Olivia leveled up. L Olivia and Chris are still really good. All of the five stars are really good. I'm less interested in Trico, but he is also really good. I just prefer units with all AoE. Oh, he's a switch attacker too. 
Well, mostly special. Parker. Parker, please. I'm, I'm doing stuff funny. No, I'm, don't kiss the mic! Why do you keep doing that? He loves rubbing his face on the mic because it has like a fuzzy, like, shield. I don't even remember what it's for because it's not. It's like sort of. It's not a pop filter, but it kind of. It keeps some of the crispiness out of the uh, audio. But Parker likes to rub his face on it. It's got Cheryl, which. <laughs> Slightly obscure choice, I guess. Though he did fight alongside her, so I guess it makes sense. Her Blissey has a really cool ability, but uh, not a lot of damage. It should have soft boiled. I don't know why it doesn't have soft boiled. It's really dumb, but they can sometimes just heal your all of your status abilities, so that could potentially be really good. If there's an enemy that that's a big problem with. Whitney is not OP, unfortunately. Whitney is free, which is cool, but she's not OP, which she should be. Hopefully they fix that. Oh yeah, and there's only gonna, there's only one server of the game. It's not like some Gacha games where, like, uh, Fake Go has, like, a Japanese version and English version stuff. Welcome. Pokemon has just never really done that, to my knowledge, so it's just gonna be all one thing. I better. I bet the VPN requirement's gonna come back, so I need to record some Let videos of this. Okay, no. Let's go. I wanted to do a little quick intro slash tutorial kind of situation, like I did with Pokemon Rumble Rush, and maybe some. Oh, I'm gonna put on auto battle. Um, you know, like a little long play kind of thing, showing the dialogue. I'd be lazy, honestly. Well, plus it's. If I can't use my Chromecast, if I have to use the VPN, I can't use Chromecast. And without Chromecast, it, I, it requires like four extra steps to record stuff from mobile. And not have ass audio quality. I mean like really bad ass. Like not, like, bad and ass, not bad ass. I like the suggestive behind-the-back camera angle for Karen and Skyla. They know what they're doing. It's kind of frustrating to see... to keep using Dark against, like, psychic types and all that stuff, and it's almost never super effective. I think they simplified the resistances and effectiveness a little bit too much. Because in Pokemon Trading Card Game, when that made weaknesses only one type, it reduced the total amount of types too, so like... You know, you would usually have fairly good type coverages as long as you're, you know... If your deck had a couple of different types. I was hoping you could entertain me a bit longer. Though I did play it before the introduction of... Dragon, Dark, and uh, Steel as types. Well, I did have some Steel and Dark cards, but I played before Dark and Steel had their own, like, normal energy no cards. Way. So you could only have four of each energy card in a deck, which is... Yeah? <laughs> was pretty BS. Oh, I hate this character. <laughs> Forget about it! Oh. <laughs> Wicked. I, <laughs> I want to know what accent she had in Japanese. <laughs> L Lieutenant Surge confirmed for um for being Father Scallop. You're good kids. Congrats, kid. <laughs> he's he's excited about life. He also tells you about a time he almost died in a war once. <laughs> Oddly traumatizing for small children. Thanks, Lieutenant Surge. Let's see what these dorks are talking about. Hey! <laughs> A lot of good heals in Pokemon lately. <laughs> hey, thanks! 
No, Pokemon Company, no. You're not, you're not allowed to do this. You can't. No. That's... That's not allowed. No! All right. I've, I regret... I regret everything. I regret everything. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? It is me, the fellow millennial. Hmm. I too download Instagrams hmm. into my microwave. What's up, Rosa? <laughs> right. I haven't seen her give the meat bun hair line yet Welcome. again. Let's go date somebody here. Uncle Barry! Okay, let's evolve Printplup, because why not? I only have three evolution crystals. I'll probably never use him. But I guess I don't have anyone else to evolve, so I will. <laughs> Wake kind of looks like a serial killer. I don't trust that man. Bro. Right, we gotta beat up this float zell. Bring it! Alright! Let's go! Yeah, for the few characters that you can evolve, you can get these little um oops. This waste is full heal for no reason. You have these little mini matches where you have to fight a certain person. And there's a little dialogue and then your Pokemon evolves. I'm unstoppable! The environments actually look kind of good right. for what they are. I'm sure they fall apart if you look around, but... It kind of makes me want a boundary break video on this game. Why does he look like that? Why is he allowed to look like that? This is the face of a man who was killed and will kill again. This is the face of a Printplup that has evolved and will evolve again. So everything evolves at level 25 and 50, I think. There he is. You've gotten even cooler. I'm so happy. <laughs> we feeble, we feeble. <laughs> That's amazing. There's, like I said, there's some really cute references to very specific things in the games. There's also no anime stuff yet so far. Uh, <laughs> Frankly, I kind of hope it stays that way. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm okay with Ash being the hell out of my game. Forever. I love Rose's face. With the little thinking emoji hand, particularly. Do it again. Aw, oh, come on. Superior gives no fucks. He looks like a peeled banana. He, maybe he is a peeled banana. He is a grass type. Right. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hapa was freaking small. I think she's just supposed to be like. Extremely young now or something. But she's like one foot tall. Well, it's Monday and my voice is kind of starting to crap out on me. Oh, wait. Who is this team? I didn't pick this team. What, ha what, what happened to my team? Let us begin. 
I think it reset my team because I did that challenge with Barry. Let's not use that team because we'll lose. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It definitely has... My main issues are... Gashapon currency, very, very low quantities. Um, I could do about two and a half ten pulls from the currency I've gotten by completing all content currently. Um, oh, my battery's dying. Um, and there's not really anything you can do to get more. Um, you get 30 per day plus 150 a week from the login bonuses. So, <laughs> you can do one pull every week, basically, which the rate is 7%, which is arguably high, but not really at that rate, so I'm really wondering how generous the events will be. That's pretty much the main question up in the air, because we don't really know anything about the events yet. We just know they will exist. And blue, though they will add more characters. I kind of hope they add like th two star characters that are like generic trainers, like Hex Maniac, um, that kind of stuff. Give me some team. Give me uh, team Skull Grunts too. No villains yet in the game. I'm sure there will eventually be in. I kind of wish Karen's hair didn't look quite so granny-like. Any other shade of blue would have done fine. As you can see, they're... Enemy sync moves are way more OP than yours. Enemy sync moves always hit the full party. They always completely remove your buffs. And uh, they always buff the full enemy team. Your buffs do your sync moves do buff your full team, but that's all. We're not done yet. Keep it up. Do your best. Are you not gonna buff yourself? The AI is not particularly amazing. Oh, heck. Well, like an ATB? Kind of. Oh, heck. It's probably closest to ATB. You know it's Pokemon because no one even cares about losing. They're just like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. It's time to, you know. It's a Broza. Are you... Are you always here? <laughs> when you forgot your keys. Right. Do do the thinking face. Yes. Say the line, you, Bart. Yeah. Nah, she's not gonna do it. I think I think if you set people to your favorites, they're like always here. So I'm just gonna remove that. It's it's neat that you can basically force people, but why are you allowed to be here? <laughs> We've got an unattended miner here. Sure, I may look like a little preschooler. But well, actually I'm still four. So I guess I am a preschooler. This has been pointless. <laughs> One day I'm gonna evolve into a grown-up. <laughs> this preschooler is having an existential crisis. They grow up faster every day. Yo. Whoa, rad. Whoa, rad, bro. I'm gonna go surf into the ocean, dude. What's up, Serge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. He's intense about every action. 
I'm really annoyed that his Voltorb doesn't evolve, by the way. He has Electrodes, at least in, um... Gold and Silver. What was I trying to do? Oh, yeah. Unfavorite. I'll have to add that to the guide. Um, who else did I favorite? Surge. I'll shock you into surrender. No, oh, you can look at them. <laughs> For some reason in Gashapon games, you always have to be able to look at your duders. When it comes to no rotation or looking around, though. I'm the authority. <laughs> kind of dumb. You can't even, like, zoom around and stuff. So Let me see how hot your spirit burns! I hate his hair. A lot. I hate his hair a lot. Um, Mon Monferno is okay. Or Infernape. Whichever one it is. But I'm so sick of firefighting. Janine is pretty cool. She's got, um... You got Venom Drench, so you can pretty brutally nerf a target if you poison them. Cross Poison's chance of poison isn't super high, though. Owner Sync Move does more damage if they're poisoned, too. Well, I need to chug some allergy meds, so... <laughs> it's been a fun stream. I <laughs> wasn't planning to stream, so sorry for a low warning, or low advance warning, but um, a stream definitely this Saturday, we're going to stream the Room Tribute, and probably Sonic Schoolhouse, which I need to make sure that I can run, like, I should do that right after I turn this off. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody! Already a better combat system than Poco. Yeah, I really like the combat system, the combat system uh, is definitely really good. Um, I hope there's something kind of like this in Sword Shield. Yeah, the the actual combat is really good. I just hope there's more strategic combat added, like in raid bosses and stuff that you need co-op people for. Just I hope that like <laughs> that it's worth it and like there's actually people fighting because currently everyone just fights Brock. But thank you very much. Until we see events, that's kind of the main thing that's missing for now. What are these idiots arguing about? I like Surskit a lot. I love those... I just love those skater bugs. I always have them in my house in uh, Animal Crossing. Seriously? <laughs> this dude has major posture problems. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tutorial game. Frickin' look at his look at his muscles. Ready up! Alright. See you later, everybody. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.